Joining me now, Value Engine Capital Management Chief Equity Strategist and Portfolio Manager Jordan Kimmel. What do you make of the price action today? And as you weave in the story of the Fitch downgrade, are you still bullish? Yeah, Liz, you know, I am bullish for, you know, a few months from now. The fact is, just last Thursday, we hit this kind of a level mm -hmm. of overexcitement and an extended overbought market. So, you know, we live in extreme times. Um, personally, I think a lot of machines are trading on moving averages right now, which is a dangerous thing. So, you know, Value Engine Capital, myself with Mag, they were highly disciplined, quantitative, try to be as unemotional as possible. But, uh, you know, this is probably not just a one-day sell-off. The market does need to cool off a little bit. Here's what I want our, our listeners and our viewer investors to do right now is listen to you because everyone always says, is it time for growth stocks or time for value stocks? You found <laughs> a couple that you say check both boxes. Well, not only check both boxes, but all boxes. My whole theory is based on value, growth, and momentum, all three of them. And so if you look at, for example, uh, you know, AGCO, which is a, um, a company that does automation on the farm. So it's a 9PE compounding it over 50% growth rate for the last couple of years. I brought you, you know, just a few months ago, the company Jack Specific. Jack Specific has a great niche in terms of licensing really hot products, whether they're dolls for movies or Super Mario Brothers. They're trading at around a 5 PE mm -hmm. and the profit margins are three, four times all of the toy manufacturers. So, you know, what it is, is it's a matter of not chasing the momentum. You know, the, the whole thing with AI got a little overheated. I'm holding more cash, frankly, than I like to. But, you know, when it comes to companies, Warren Buffett likes to say, you don't buy a farm based on tomorrow's, you know, weather forecast. Mm -hmm. You have to do a little bit better than that. I thought you did a great job early in the session with, with Professor Siegel. Uh, and everyone's worried about a default, which will not happen. But maybe, Liz, maybe this Fitch rating gets politicians to think a little bit yeah. more that they just can't overspend. Mm -hmm. Maybe we even get a little bit more transparency soon to see these cost right. overruns and these terrible spending of our money. We don't mind paying tax if it's, spelt, if it's spent right. Yeah. Jordan, um, of all the names, you've got industrials, you've got consumer names, your tech names, you say these check all your boxes, and some of them are, are definitely uh, in the early stages, let's put it that way. For example, you've got C3.ai, Splunk, and Palantir, you like that one too, Broadcom, CrowdStrike Holdings, everything's down today, so arguably I would think you're saying they're all cheaper. Everything's down today, you know, and the fact is some of them are less cheap than others, but, you know, CrowdStrike is something where, you know, the, the cybersecurity is really important. They're one of the leaders in it. They're a little expensive. The AI craze has gotten people to buy just basically everything. When you shake it out a year from two from now, AI and Palantir will be the winners in this group, I think, very clearly. They're a little expensive right now, frankly. And so we're holding a little bit more cash, a little bit more price dip, uh, a little bit more cooling off of the, uh, of the overheated market. We'll go in yeah. and, and full out these positions fully. Oh, it's so good to see you, my friend. And yeah, I thought that interview with Jeremy Siegel, which we will put up on foxbusiness.com, was very important. Not only did he say that the uh, downgrade was ridiculous, he said long-term investors should not sell. There is no possibility of a default, and he feels that this market will continue to do very well, and the economy looks good, too.